Hello everyone, today I'm going to review for you about bronchial pulmonary dysplasia imaging. Bronchial pulmonary dysplasia is a chronic lung disease of premature. It has two forms. All bronchial pulmonary dysplasia is it occurs in larger later preterm infant with prolonged mechanical ventilation and O2 therapy. New bronchopulmonary dysplasia occurs in earlier, smaller preterm infant with overall malar disease. Agola simplification and dysmorphic musculature, more uniform parenchymal inflation, less fibrosis. Presentation, most common sign and symptom. New bronchopulmonary dysplasia is often mild or no respiratory disease, initially followed by progressive deterioration. Most have subsequent slow improvement and wean respiratory support. Some version plus minus development of pulmonary hypertension. Patient with severe STD may progress like bronchopulmonary dysplasia. Demography. A premature infant less than 32 weeks gestation at birth. More predominant in male. Epidemiology, most common chronic pulmonary disease in infant, 40% of less than 28 weeks gestation in pen, and 68% of 22 to 26 weeks gestation, 25% of infant weighing less than 100, uh, 1,500 gram at birth, 40% of those weighing less than 1,000 gram, 10,000 to 15,000 in friend in USA annually, unchanged incident of Bronchopulmonary dysplasia seen in initial description due to increased survival of very premature infant. Imaging or bronchopulmonary dysplasia, heterogeneous hyperinflated tongue with patchy focal sensing plus coarse reticular and band like opacity. New bronchopulmonary dysplasia diffuse, ACE opacification, and or cystic lucency. Severe subretan deficiency disease, SDD, patient may follow all imaging pattern. Overlapping chest CT finding in all a new bronchopulmonary dysplasia. Subplural opacity, septal sickening, air draping, emphysema, bronchiectasis, atelectasis, consolidation. MR is imaging as useful modality. Gradient echo and ultra short echo time sequence. Higher density lung tissue have higher signal intensity. UTE sequence also respect abnormally low density tissue. Ultrasound may have predict progression of to bronchopulmonary dysplasia in STD. This is the chair radiograph in a five months old, former 26 gestation premature infant with bronchopulmonary dysplasia, so generalized pulmonary hyperexpansion with diffuse SC opacity and coarse in 
Stitcher Monkey. Man contrast in NCT inspiration in an infant with bronchopulmonary dysplasia, so numerous parenchymal and subpleural cysts with generalized ground glass opacity and parenchymal pain. This is the AP chair radiograph in one day old. 28 week gestation in pen, so hypoinflation with malhesia opacity greater, greater in right lung than left. Again, this is the AP chair radiograph, same infant in at three weeks of age, demonstrate hypoinflation with developing cystic and bubbly lucencies throughout the lung. The patient was able to be managed with non-invasive positive pressure ventilation and did not require intubation. Same patient, but at two months of age, demonstrate enlarging cystic space among coarsen reticular opacity. The lung demonstrate progressive hyperinflation. Same patient in the CT at two months of age. So characteristic finding of bronchopulmonary dysplasia includes subpleural opacity, cis, air draping, and subtle sickening due to the difficulty in winning respiratory support. CT was obtained for a more detailed characterization of parenchymal abnormality. Treatment. Many conflicting results in bronchopulmonary dysplasia prevention and therapy trial. For prevention, antenatal steroids, exogenous sulfitan, gentle ventilation, low in in spite of oxygen concentration, lower ox oxygenation target, vitamin A. Less conclusive evidence, caffeine, early PDA closure in all in nitric oxide, post-nasal or steroids, Sildenafil, Claracel, 10 protein. Surgical resection is rarely need for severe low bar cystic and pysimitous change causing mass effects that lead to respiratory distress. Thank you.